Hi, this is Philip with G6 Technology Services. So in this video, I thought I would just do kind of a computer shop vlog. So we're just going to go over some of the things I'm working on today. So first up on the schedule, I have these two MacBook Pros, a 13-inch and a 15-inch, that have some charging or power issues. So this one, for some reason, it seems like it's working now, but they said that the charger does not charge. Uh, the light comes on, they said, for about three to five seconds, and it goes out, and the battery won't charge. But I've actually got it charging, and, you know, it's coming along. It's over halfway charged. I've tried wiggling around the connector. Uh, this is the power supply that, or the charger that they provided. And I've got mine here. I tried that one, too. And everything seems like it's okay, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I might have to contact them and get some more information. This one... They said it uh, charges fine, but then it doesn't last very long. Whenever you unplug the charger, it dies after a couple minutes. So what we're going to do there is just run a battery test. So the first thing that I need to do is we're just going to plug in the charger. So I've got that going. Plug that in here. And then we're going to get our diagnostic software here. We use uh, Tech Tool Pro. I just have a little flash drive that I made here. It's a really cool piece of software you can buy. Um, we'll start up off of that. Okay, our battery test has completed. We'll see. Oh, well, that's not good. Maximum capacity, 54 milliamp hours. So, yeah, that's not going to last very long. But I'm going to try and get a warranty replacement on that and see if they'll do it. It is a little bit over a year. I don't know what their warranty period is, but we'll contact them and find out. Okay, so pulled up this battery. It does look like the warranty is only a year. Uh, it was purchased a little bit over a year ago, but I really don't want to have to buy another one because they are kind of expensive. So I'm just going to contact iFixit and see if they'll work with me on a warranty replacement. Sometimes, you never know, they'll be nice and do it anyway. So, well, I'll let you know how that turns out. I probably will hear back from them tomorrow. So while I'm over here, actually, that reminded me of something. This is just kind of a, a smaller office space. I don't know. Here's the back wall. And then here we'll pan around. There's where the workbench is and some storage and, and whatnot. So we're actually going to be uh, expanding into a larger unit in this building. And as part of that, I want to move all of this network stuff out of here. We have our firewall and our switch and then just down here I've got our cable modem and little uh, phone server and things like that so I want all this stuff to be off my desk and somewhere else so I'm going to show you what our plans are and we kind of already have that started here if you see we have this uh, coil of fiber there and we have that run up into the ceiling so I'll show you the rest of this setup so here's our main door that just goes out into the hallway and then there's some equipment rooms and then all the way down at the end of this hallway is the front door so that's what we're going to be hopefully changing here and um, I'll just show you again so that's where our office is so right down the hall this next door we have this uh, kind of storage area Oh, door doesn't like to open sometimes. So we just got some spare junk in here, dolly, and then here's kind of the rest of these computers from the auction. And then this is our back storage area. And right here, actually, coming out of this hole in the ceiling, is the rest of our fiber. I know this is not pretty and this will be cleaned up. And we're just in a hurry that day to get it hooked up and working uh, and tested and it does work and we're going to be putting a nice little rack in here I want to get a uh, like 25U rolling rack to put all of our network stuff in um, this little coupler hopefully we'll be able to put into a patch panel and then we'll get a, well, a second one for both lines right now they're just bridged right together but I want to put a switch in here and move all that stuff out of my office and into this room. So if we go down the hall, 
just close that. Then we'll get to the back door of our new unit, which is right here. Uh, where's the lights? There we go. So this is the new unit, or part of it. This is the back room. So here's the door that we just came in. Uh, this is a mess that we're going to have to clean up. It's got some missing paper off the drywall and some adhesive where they stuck something. Uh, and then here's another little back room. And this is where this is where the other end of that fiber comes out. And we did have a switch in here and some phones and access points for testing. And that works. Everything's fine. Um, I want to put a little rack up on the wall there. Uh, I'll, I'll show you a picture at some point. It won't be in this video, I don't think. But whenever we get that going, it'll just be a nice little wall mount. Small, like, 6U equipment rack with a switch and a patch panel. Um, not much going on here. And we're going to have... Just turn that back off. And we're going to have probably an access point up on the ceiling. And we'll have a desk over in the corner here for administrative work, just a, a regular computer desk with an IP phone, computer. And then on this wall, we're going to have a workbench pretty much going the entire way from one side to the other, obviously leaving enough room so the door will open without hitting it. And this is the main kind of lobby or customer area. It has some nice windows. And again, has a little bit of work that has to be done. Got some, you know, scuff marks on the wall, whatnot. So we're going to have to repaint and, uh, you know, cover some of this stuff up. There's little glue pads all over the place. But we do have a nice, you know, window so we can see the outside here. And let's go and take a look at the rest of it. So here's the front of our building. And you would walk straight in to the front door, which just closed by itself. And currently this is the hallway where you'd have to go all the way down there to get to our current office. So this one's going to be a lot nicer. It'll be more towards the uh, front of the building. And let's actually, we can go out and take a look. So here's where it would be. So we're going to put some uh, decals over these windows. And then I want to put a sign up here like they have over here kind of replicate that, put a box sign, and then some, some graphics on the windows. And then you'll be able to just come straight in the front door. And then just head right on in. Oh, that locked on its own. I'll have to go back the other way. Anyway, that's the idea. So you'd walk in. walk in from the front and then we'll just probably leave that door open and then we're going to have a checkout counter kind of you know from here all the way over and then kind of L around to here so that this back area is just going to be for employees and there will be the checkout counter kind of in this area uh, you know straight across and then maybe over here I want to have a conference table and we'll probably put some pegboard and shelves up to display some products and then in the back will be, like I said earlier, we'll have our, our workbench and then our administrative desk over here for whoever's going to be working the office. And then here would just be storage or like a break room, kind of. And then like I said, you know, we'll have our network rack up there. And I think that pretty much covers it. So as we make progress on this, I'll, um, you know, make sure to make little update videos and keep you apprised of what's going on. I don't know if we'll be able to film as we're actually working on things, but I'll definitely do some intermediate 
progress updates just to track everything. It's just kind of fun to see the progress, how everything's going. And all the way back, 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 and here's where we are currently. So obviously that is going to be a much nicer place and we're not going to be right next to this machine room with this air conditioner that's really loud. I have to shut the door, otherwise it's just very loud. So also, I already opened a lot of stuff that would have been, you know, fun to show on camera, I guess, but we got some compressed air, I got a little battery backup, and this is a project for a customer. I'm converting a bunch of old tapes to digital for them. And then here's some of our equipment for our new unit. We have our new phones, our access point, our ubiquity switch, we have a the older generation, the 16 port PoE switch, and a UAP AC light, and a couple of Cisco SPA504G IP phones, which will be working uh, in conjunction with our free PBX server. Then just some other little things, some more tools, this little um, surge bar like I have over here. I actually really like these a lot. Uh, and then we're just storing some of these computers. We've just got a couple of uh, these auction computers that we've got ready. And then here's our little pegboard that's in here. So I'm going to try and do something kind of like that in the front. Um, so anyway, that's about what we have now. Got some like door locks and door hardware and stuff in there. I'm just waiting for the maintenance person to come back so we can get some of these door locks and things changed out. But Anyway, in the meantime, we're going to try and get some painting done in there. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed that video. I'm going to try and do some more updates in the future and follow the progress of this project. I'm really excited about it. It's a, it's a big step uh, to expand into that new space, and I think it's really going to be uh, very nice. It'll, it'll look really nice at the end, and it'll help the uh, customer experience. They don't have to walk all the way down here. It'll help the business out by giving us some signage out front, make it easier to locate the place and uh, just give us some extra space to work because it is getting pretty cramped in here, especially if I've got uh, an employee helping me out. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thanks.